weather app. Mm -hmm. It shows you a little raindrop sign indicating there's rain, but hang on, you go outside, no rain. Hmm, you kind yeah. of grow some grass, right? Exactly, <laughs> right? It's, kind of, it's tricky technology. Yeah. And you know, Ricky Matthews is going to explain it to us. Please do. We don't yeah. understand. Yeah, well, it happens a lot in the winter when we get some drier air into our region. And it's not that the radar is 100% wrong. It's just that the radar is not detecting what's at the ground. It's detecting okay. what's happening up in the atmosphere a couple thousand feet up. So let's kind of talk a little bit about what's happening here. There's a great example right now across the region. You can see there's some green showing up in parts of Chesapeake, parts of Norfolk, but it's very unlikely that any of this is making it to the ground because when we look at our dew points or a measure of how much moisture there is in the air, we're hanging out generally in the mid 40s to low 40s. Uh, that is not the driest air we see during the winter months, but it's certainly not the most moisture that we typically see into our area. So we've got some drier air in place as these northeast winds are kind of helping to bring in a little bit of that drier air. So what is going on is something that we as meteorologists refer to as Virga. That's basically a big fancy word for rain that's evaporating before it makes it down to the surface. So typically you have that precipitation fall out of the cloud. It falls down through the atmosphere. It's moist enough, reaches the ground, and that rain reaches your house and gets into your grass and uh, sometimes causes all the wetness that you see outside. But in Virga, that dry dry air in the mid levels and oftentimes the low levels of the atmosphere eats up at all the moisture and it doesn't make it down to the surface. This happens a lot in snow too and it's sometimes the reason our snowfall totals can be lower than what's predicted because sometimes that dry air cannot be modeled as well in some of the early predictions. So uh, many things that we have to factor in as meteorologists when we're making forecasts and Don, it can really cause significant issues uh, when that winter weather does start to push into the area. Yeah, it really, really can. And, and today this is making a big, big difference in terms of the rainfall.